have four. Nowadays, no matter what state, is never easy. Take, for example, a job of Rod Curley Austin. His final team makeup is a last minute thing, while training runs are more like getting to know sessions. I think in the uh, situation with the B side, a lot of uh, young players uh, for the first time, they're a bit nervous and they probably don't really know each other. Uh, so it's a chance to get to know names and get used to kicking distances and uh, just a general get together and uh, know that they're going to play together and get to know their, their style of play. Austin completes his lineup with those players unfortunate enough to miss out on the A team. But even in the A team, it is not necessarily the form players who are selected. Well, Simon Madden has always been a, a sensational state player. He's a, he's a state captain. He led by example uh, against South Australia this year when he was, uh, I suppose there was a chance he may have missed, but we took him over and uh, he had a fitness test there. He said, I'm OK. He did the job for us, was a great leader. He's a great communicator. And that's what you need in state football as well. Uh, with uh, Gary Abbott, well, I see Gary play each Saturday and his form hasn't been outstanding. I'm the first to admit that, but we as a group of selectors know full well that uh, he's not far away from, from hitting his peak again, and uh, if he doesn't play well, well, you know, we've got to make a decision. But he's a player with four interchange players in the squad that could be used uh, with options that uh, Billy Goggin, the coach, has in mind. So, you know, we'll have a good look at him again on Saturday, and he hasn't let us down in state football really before so uh, oh he's a class player but you know we do want to see him do a little bit more one thing the selectors always look at are options and they may just need them up forward with a huge question mark still hanging over sharpshooter tony lockett he didn't train on uh, wednesday night with us and uh, he has got a nasty injury there which we uh, we had our state doctor look at and uh, i mean he's a tough boy and he does want to play let me make that very clear tony lockett does want to play for victoria and as far as Witten is concerned, wanting to play for the Big V is what makes State of Origin football so great. Look, our players can feel sore. The real players uh, uh, that want to play and are keen to do well, they may be sore and tired, but once they get on the training track and they get there on the night of the game, and you know what it's like, something happens. Something clicks, like turning on an electric light button, and all of a sudden the soreness disappears and the worries and the tiredness goes uh, and the psyched up, they burn and uh, inside and you can feel it yourself yeah, you did, right. and it's a different story and they want to win. So too naturally does WA and one of Witten's old sparring partners Mal Brown has been stirring the pot in the west. Brown feels the latest Lewis report is all part of a big V plan to try and bring down the sand gropers. Hey, we didn't start any of this garbage. We'd have just gone over to play state football and win the game for Victoria. And Mal knows that. Whilst we are winning them, Mal was hitting elderly women, breaking microphones from the media on the ground as he was coaching positions, and uh, now he's bitching about the tribunals. That's got nothing to do with us. Ted Witten on Mal 